What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off our last time, we are engaging the Dutch in their final city, Oldenburg. It's their region's capital. We have a massive artillery advantage. They have a large amount, large advantage in terms of numbers and they have a, a bit of useful cavalry. My cavalry is pretty much dead. Um, but yeah, I've got buckets of artillery. They have two units of six pounders. I have four batteries of nine pounders and two units of experimental howitzers. So we want to absolutely capitalize on that firepower. This region and we will capture this area for our gains. Then we can focus even more against the wars against the Prussians. A matter of some urgency to cut off the flow of supplies from Vienna because right now they are... The Prussians are sending unit after unit after unit of musketeers. Oop, the recording may end because my head, my um, hard drive's popped in and out. Okay, so let's. Okay, so I might want to based on my disparity in infantry, I may wish to opt for a more opt for a more conventional formation in order for me to get some firepower on the front because I will probably need my I'll probably need that firepower I want to group my weak cavalry together with my strong cover on the right, general in the centre, house is in the middle. I've deployed slightly off axis, but I think it's going to be okay. Especially if I want to do something like this. So I do want to take advantage of my artillery advantage. To be honest with these guns actually, I may deposit them. Yeah, this is probably the best bit of elevated ground. Hmm. Actually, I think I want to deploy my guns here. This set of guns here. Push these guys forward a little bit. And start lobbing shells over heads. Well, not shells, but, you know, cannonballs. Oh, that was perfect. I was expecting that redeployment to go horribly wrong. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably going to want to do something similar with you as well. Keep my howitzers going forward. So push forward with these troops. Push forward with my weak cavalry, and all they'll be there for is mainly to counter back, counter charge against their cavalry. Keep my dragoons in the trees. So I'm not going to want to unlimber until my howitzers get past, just in case they get killed in some sort of horrific friendly fire accident. And once they get down the hill, somewhat. Okay, unlimber. Fired will, good sirs. It appears they do not wish to. I wonder if it's for reasons of fratricide. Yeah. 
How are you guys doing for range? I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll make you engage if that's what you want. No, they're unhappy about that too. Twenty-two cavalry. Okay, this is an engagement we can take advantage of. Okay, they're engaging me, so I want you chaps to bally well. Oh, they can drop, start dropping nasties into the city from here. Okay, the cavalry deserves to be engaged. I probably want to make you guys run up, otherwise you're going to get left behind by that militia garrison. Provoked. Provoke them to engage me on my terms. Oh, uh, special cavalry unit. Uh, all of you guys form square. You guys get out of square because they're coming after you. Come on, hop over there. Okay, good. Go, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, they did charge back into my lines, even against my light infantry, but it didn't work. Henry Clinton, he is not close enough into the mix. Start to target my artillery and more direct support. Good, the militia garrison have retreated. Oh, you can you can deal with being spread out a bit more. This is unit of our citizenry. Knock out this this militia garrison unit. What I'd like is to then spin these this flank around here. So I want to put my cavalry somewhere suitably menacing. So when the morale breaks, I can charge straight in, take them out. Oh, good. Their their troops are deciding to get it to close range. Although, to be honest, they haven't much choice. If they decide to wait, they'd still be in trouble. Frightening enemy unit. It's probably one of my cold stream units. Socket bayonet. Resistance to bayonet. Garrison policing bonus. Hide and light scrub, woodland, frank firing, fire and event. Okay. Okay, a large break in the centre. back but it will probably falter again under the massed firepower of the British troops.
Come on, lads. Oh, or do I send them on a f an end around? No, that's what they've got. Let's see, 43, hey? 43 hussars against is that 53 of my guys. Could be less if we charge them in. Oh, wow. This militia is engaging it down near point blank range. Thank you. Fill the gaps. Ooh, no, don't charge them in there. If their horse artillery is going to come out and play. They will seek to beat me. Maybe send my Scots Greys in, send my King's German Legion in to the cavalry, to the artillery, sorry, so they don't blast my guys with canister shot at close range. How is this still doing a cracking job? Um, citizenry moving up. Poor devils. Although they've got, they're in a bit of a defilade right there. Okay, the general's starting to come in. So, although some of these shot, these misses may end up killing some of these uh, general tr generals. Good bodyguard. Engage the bodyguard if the hussars won't won't engage. Too late, me old mucker. You've left your general exposed. Okay, let's move these guys up to the top of the ridge. Secure. Secure the field. Oh god, I forgot all about you, this Dragoon unit. Well, they're broken anyway. You've managed to lure away my Scots Greys away from their general. Glorious victories are soon to be yours. No Scots Greys. Get him. If mere regular old dragoons are enough. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Well then. Engage. Let's hold all my artillery because now it's going to do more harm than good. The general is routing. Their remaining cavalry will not stand under the Royal Scots Greys, although my guys are very upset. Well, not as upset as their guys. You guys just go straight into that militia unit. Sorry, you Dutch fellows. Take their standard. Chase down their general. He is all that remains. He's routing at the first hit of a cavalryman. Let's end the battle there because it's a city assault. England is a nation of 
your shopkeeper makes a lot of stuff from from selling it to panic buyers and then he goes out and panic buys from someone else's shop it's all a, it's all in balance um we will hmm do you want to liberate it so i think what i want to do is loot it because they're super happy yeah my gent yeah 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 we've had all this But what I want to do is move my army out to here, where replenishment rates are better, then give Kingdom of Belgium regions, offer region, no it's not Hanover I want is it, Frisia, diplomacy, Regions, offer regions. Well, no. So what I can see erupting is that they... I need to settle them down first. They love makers on my garrison. I need to settle them down. Okay, let's build... Ooh, industrial mining complex. That would be very nice. Um, then I think what I want to do is take John Moore. Because do you have walls? Um, I don't think you do. Um, hmm. So what I'm thinking is, even though they're depleted... Okay, what I want to do, I think... Yeah. So I'm thinking, do I swap these guys around, or I take John Moore, have him siege the city? Or he can't actually siege the city. Uh, we can be in reserve. Yes, region captured, nation destroyed. So my concern about giving this straight over to the to the, um, to the Belgians is because there was a risk that they would lose the city because of public order problems. Oh, they've actually recruited a whole unit in Brussels, a whole army. I suppose they have Brussels and they have they have Amsterdam is happy even though the city's on fire. So I might give them Frisia and Cleves, in which case then I'm not going to do that, because if I'm going to give you this territory that's functioning, it's not being taxed, but it works. And Oldenburg, that's quite a nice little Benelux region then, I think. Ah, secret society. Build a Masonic Lodge. Just because it helps. More some more spies is, is pretty handy. Let's put an equestrian estate. How is, is the infrastructure in Madrid good? Yes, it is. You do have a job. As do you. Stuttgart's currently under observation. I don't want to move you this way, because this is where. There is a, there was well there is I'm pretty sure there's an there's an army in there somewhere. Lothar Bruckhardt, Emmanuel Reichel, Rachel, Rachel. But with luck, lots of these guys reinforcing should be fairly weak or fairly green anyway. I think I'm tempted to. Hmm. I don't want to assault with Michael Stowell, but they're the only one I can assault with because he's lost, he's got a lot of weak troops, so I'd be more inclined to have them sally out to meet me. So I think what I'm going to do is take John Moore and engage this army of Herbert Jung. Oh, they withdrew. Let's fight that. With all those troops, well, with those not many troops attacking him, should be fine. And besides, John Moore won't be, uh, he won't be that fine. So if Stowell did get destroyed, John Moore's army is in a good position to defeat him. But what I really want to do with this Austrians, oh, they've had to... 
deploy in a really funky place. So absolutely want my Highlanders front and centre. They're going to move up straight, straight at them. Everyone else in a very dumb line is going to move flank up around to the right. My cavalry is going to move to the left of the city. John Moore in the middle. Bad deployment. There's nowhere really good for my artillery to go except here, but that's really too close. Then these guys don't really have anywhere good to go apart from like this. Then let's bring up John Moore, but in a bit of a protected position, and let's speed up time. Because they're going to start engaging me. Prussian Fusiliers, Foot Guards. Okay, and they're off. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! I need to keep an eye on how offensive their troops are actually being. Okay, no, John Moore, you need to you need to leg it because they're after you. Well, they were anyway. Let's begin to run my foot troops, my Highlanders. Let's. Okay, hold on. Play, 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 play. Oh no, you're still too far away. Move up in in solid order, but not too fast. run these chaps in these guys are a bit of a reserve and they will take some scattered casualties engage the Prussian Fusiliers they're moving up to attack me I do not want to relinquish my position run my Highlanders because they're starting to charge run my cavalry straight through because it looks like it's going to be a melee right behind them To be honest, it looks like it might be one of these. Get everyone involved. If they don't get involved now, they won't get involved later on. It is all my cavalry, isn't it? It is. It's the enemy general defeated. You should fear my Highlanders. They are just... Wait a minute. I was about to say they're better than my regular infantry. 
They f oh, they're better in the melee, but they don't reload as well. But in the melee is right where they are. Good lads. I want to get some infantry in the melee with my cavalry. Even though my cavalry is darn good at killing things. More support wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's also bring John Moore up ready to engage. There we go. Okay, the grenadiers are wavering and they're routing chase them down men to be honest I might do this instead peel my peel one unit of highlanders peel the highlanders off to engage the in the combat itself Oh no, John Moore. Is this how it ends for the general? Charging a Prussian gun line. Thankfully, they're deciding to. Yes! Absolutely continue. So, all of my infantry turn around and leave everyone else continue to engage because this is a roving stack oh no damn it no don't do that Then let's speed up time. There you go. Oh, someone's doing some recycling. But right now everyone's charging down the enemy. Which is lovely. St. John Moore's becoming a very expensive experienced battlefield commander the number of kills for his own personal staff you literally have one guy to kill and there he is you chase them down They've got that guy. It says everyone on this last unit of Prussian musketeers. Poor souls. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Close victory. That wasn't close. And proceed to chase them down and engage them to make sure they cannot reform. As should any good general remain. Oh, they might not even re remain. They do remain. A general can go after them but no one else well next turn you all go after them you're going to wait and oh, I think I've done everything else so I think I'm gonna hit end turn and see what happens what sort of see you're starting to make a reasonable amount of money I am loath to give you away but what's the point of having a protector if I'm not gonna give them some cash and actually make them more useful Ooh, go on Austria, declare war on Russia for me, please. Ooh, 
Ooh, we definitely... Yes, as we be given the opportunity, I think we will uh, intercept Lothar Burkhardt. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for maybe an ambush against a Prussian column? We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Thank you.